Nou, dan breek je leeg. Je komt breek je leeg, sir. Check it out. No man, it's unnecessary, guys. Ik ga fuck op doen niet. Uh, Tuesday 18th of August, uh, about 10 o'clock, we arrived in four ways. At about 3.30 we were on our way home. Um, my workers already left or they are on their way to do the taxi rain. And um, so I saw the police vehicle driving past and closing my boot, went to my car, climbed into my car and just suddenly parked behind us and that's when the attack happened. After they stopped, um, both of them climbed out of the car. Um, the one police officer went to my side and also the other one went to Anton's side. And they've asked us to climb out of the car. I did immediately. Um, and Anton just, yeah, he was a bit slower than, than I was. And um, the police actually pulled him out of the vehicle, um, aggressive. And um, so the police officer that was on my side, he ran around the car and I followed him. And he turned around and he pulled out the gun, pointed to my head and said, if you move, I will kill you. Well, at this stage, um, I realized that this is actually a serious matter and I would need to take things in my own hands and need to get a camera so that I can take footage of it. I went to my car slowly so that they can't see me because the guy said, he will shoot me if I move. So I got the camera in my hand, um, put it behind my arm and walked towards them in a way and as soon as they see something or, or if they look at my side, I turn my body. Uh, the police officer smashed Anton's head like twice to the ground and then the other officer came in and he hit Anton with the gun or the back side of the gun onto his head, his shoulder and also his knee and that's when I realized I need to get the camera. Well at this stage, this is where um, both officers is physically attacking um, Anton and where they're trying to choke him and got a right and he felt unconscious. He, he, he went unconscious. Uh. No, don't break his leg. You can't break his leg, sir. Check it out. No, man. It's unnecessary, guys. Uh, while Anton was on the ground and when I told, or uh, when I said to them, sir, please don't break his leg, um, he grabbed his foot and he twisted it and it looked like it, it's going to break. What is it? Guys! What is it? It's lip pies. What the fuck? <laughs> no, guys, this is... <laughs> <laughs> I was literally crying because I mean I was standing there, can't do anything for Antonio at the moment or they, I, I couldn't do anything for him and that's where they actually pulled down his pants um, and they went like physically into his anal and I, I don't know what they found there but I mean they went inside and it, as if the hole is like five meters deep. Well, then they turn him around and they start okay. taking off his pants where, where his penis is and they start searching there around his testicles and his penis and you can actually see it. I think that was the most um, scary thing that I've ever seen. After everything is calm, Anton is still laying there. Um, they actually wait for Anton just to, uh, you know, to wake up. And then after that, I picked Anton up put him in the boot and they said please don't ever do that again and they left. Okay so Anton has sustained um, injuries um, from his head, his ear, uh, his tongue, his mouth, his neck, um, his knees and also his ankle. I really don't know why they did it. Um, I don't know why they attacked us but if I need to guess I would say it's because we are, were alone. There was no one close by. Uh, we are two young guys and also I think it's because we're white. 